Southern California has a growing issue with transportation. We see it every day on the 405. With a quickly expanding population and a car-first culture, our region is being pulled to invest resources into developing alternative transportation options across Los Angeles, Orange County, San Bernardino, and San Diego to lessen the strain on our freeways and to give people new options for traveling or commuting around town. Good thing is, Los Angeles already has a hive of new development projects aimed at improving the rail and biking sectors within our cities. And so does Orange County. A great example of projects in LA would include the Los Angeles River Bikeway Extension. The LART extension is a plan that will connect the already existing northern half of the iconic LA River Bikeway to the lower half with an 8-mile connecting Class 1 bikeway. Sending cyclists from Glendale all the way to Long Beach on a safe 33-mile uninterrupted bike highway for anyone to use. Setting a great example of the potential SoCal cycling has. That said, for the first part of our series, we will be focusing in on Orange County development because it happens to have the most real current and future expansion projects in the works, including the long-awaited completion of the full 100-mile Santa Ana River Trail bikeway. Let's take a closer look at the missing portion of the trail currently under construction. A lack of coordination between the three counties of Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino has been the biggest reason this stretch of the SART doesn't exist. With that, this is also a sensitive habitat for a variety of animals within Chino Hills State Park and the Prado Dam marshlands. So there are a lot of environmental concerns that need to be addressed before any construction starts. However, as recently as this February, the first of the 15 miles needed to connect the two ends started construction. This is a 1.4 mile stretch near the Prado Dam. It will be the first of many phases in joining the SART as one continuous trail, and TOSC will be there to track every mile. Currently, there is no public access to the new portion of the trail. The roads to the trail are unpaved and blocked off on both ends. This section of the trail is essentially an island between the closest north and south ends. From the north, there are underdeveloped gravel roads between connections, which can be traveled to by car, but are not accessible to the public until the county clears the way. And on the south end, a train track impasse makes it impossible to cross. Even by mountain bike or on foot, TOSC does not recommend trying to make your way there until we have an official opening. These roadblocks are just more examples of the logistical challenges this project needs to consider as it moves forward. Most of the trail and bikeway systems have been completed, but this will one day allow riders to travel continuously from Huntington Beach to the San Bernardino Mountains. Other projects include the OC Loop, which started in 2015. This project improved 66 miles of bikeways across 17 cities to essentially create Orange County's largest bikeway loop around the central OC to the northern border cities of Orange County and back. There are small sections left that still need to be completed to make it a true class one bikeway loop, but those plans are already in motion. Completing the OC loop would turn underutilized abandoned spaces along rivers and railroads into a community amenity, benefiting everyone along its path, including animals and wildlife. So our first focus will be on a project developed by the Orange County Transport Authority called the OC Foothills Bikeway Collaborative. This is a multifaceted project that has development plans for every county within Orange County. If all projects were to go through, it would turn Orange County into one of the most desirable cycling counties in the United States. But this could potentially take decades to complete with current funding, environmental concerns, zoning issues, and politics. Let's take a look at a current project close to the home base of TOSC, which is already halfway through construction in Tustin, California. This is a two mile stretch along the Peters Canyon Trail from Warner Avenue to Edinger Avenue. I've been told construction will be completed by approximately February, 2020. This new route will detour cyclists from the streetside Harvard side path to connect them seamlessly from the Newport Back Bay to the Tustin Metrolink train station. TOSC will be researching, gathering details, filming on-site footage, and sharing construction updates related to this project and others as they come. Compiling everything and bringing them to you here on our newest series, Trailside Construction. So thank you for watching. With all that, a brand new TOSC video featuring the recently constructed bikeway extension on the Anaheim Coves Trail is in the works and will be up next for the channel. Subscribe to stay tuned to all the updates on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And as always, ride on and ride safe.